Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can transfer the ownership of a Microsoft form to a group. Uh, let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So when you create new Microsoft Forms, uh, they belong to you. They, are, they sit under and reside under your account. So here is a mileage reimbursement form that I have created, um, but you know all the responses and everything, they pretty much go to me. Uh, I'm the only one who can manage this form uh, and it pretty much resides under my account. Uh, with that being said, what you can do, you can transfer the ownership to a group of users, uh, a Microsoft 365 group to be exact. Here is how you do it. Uh, what you need to do is click on the three dots uh, on the form you want to transfer and you'll say move. And this is where you get to choose the destination. Essentially, the list you get to see here, this is a, li this is a list of all the Microsoft 365 groups you have uh, within um, you know, your tenant, obviously the ones that you're part of. And you, know, you, you can just choose one of those groups to transfer this form to. Uh, let's proceed with marketing team. I'm going to move it to a marketing team right here. And uh, what happens now, the form has been moved. As you can see, it's uh, now residing on the marketing team. Uh, what that means is that anyone uh, who is part of this uh, particular team can now uh, manage um, you know, the form and adjust it, you know, the look and feel, et cetera. A couple of very important things. So first of all, this move thing is a one-time operation, all right? So here is my other personal you know, form. I can still move it because you know I, I it's still my personal form. I did not move it to uh, any other groups just yet. But this form that we just moved to marketing team, look, I can no longer move it to another group. So once you move it to a certain group, that's pretty much it. It resides there. Uh, now the second thing that happens, uh, very very important. So if I now go to a marketing team, right here, this is the same group that we transferred the same you know team if you will that we transferred the form to uh, once i did the transfer it created this uh, additional folder and let's navigate inside and this is actually uh, a series of these folders this is uh, where the responses reside so any responses that you receive uh, obviously we just did the transfer very important they will no longer reside in the in your you know OneDrive for Business, right? Because it used to be a personal form. All the responses, you know, going forward will now be accumulated over here uh, within the uh, within this folders essentially uh, within this default document library that is part of that uh, group, uh, you know, team site. So very very important to note that as well. Uh, other than that, I mean, again, you know, this move, um, you know, thing is uh, pretty straightforward, just like I demonstrated. And um, very important, uh, a, a, you know, feature in my opinion, because again, if you created your form and then let's say you leave the organization, obviously um, at that point, it will be hard for everyone else, you know, to edit it and make any changes versus where, you know, when you transfer the ownership to the group, if you, let's say, uh, leave the organization, the form belongs now to a group of users and anyone within that group can still uh, access the results, can still uh, obviously, uh, you know, make the adjustments to this form, you know, any tweaks, et cetera, et cetera. So that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.